Hey there, I am Floris, and in this video, I want to talk about one of the features from the CMI plugin. This is a premium resource that offers a dynamic variety of features, and it will help you better operate and manage your spigot or paper servers. By the way, all the links about the stuff we talk about can be found in the description of this video. And if you like this video, and you think it was helpful to you, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. Okay, let's get into it. This is about an update to the armor stand editor and it has become pretty, pretty cool. Let's get out of the console and into the game. Um, CMI has an armor stand editor and if you do that, it will actually open it for you if you have something placed, which is pretty cool. You can also sneak and right click, which will open up the editor. Um, but you'll notice that there is now a list as a suggested parameter for this command, which is pretty cool. And there is one in there and we'll get back to that pretty soon. Let's go and show how this looks. So I have a regular armor stand here and I'm going to place it and it's already pretty nifty because the arms are already there and there's a plate and it has a certain size and we can customize it. All right, let's get rid of this and get a player head, a chest plate, uh, maybe some uh, leggings and uh, boots. Maybe uh, let's hold a bamboo stick and an ax or something like that. What, have, what don't we have yet here? Netherite, all right. We can decorate this guy now. Normally you can just right click and they will hold it, which is one way of doing it. But I mentioned that when we sneak or shift and right click that we get an editor for the armor stand editor, which is awesome. This is the new version. You might recognize this, but it has an update and it has less buttons, but it can do more things. All right, let's give this guy something to wear. There we go. And let's change the size to small. It is visible. Gravity should remain on. We want visible arms. We don't need it to glow. We don't need it to make it interactable or whatever. Okay, plate, we don't need that. And visible name, we don't care about that. All right, open the clone picker. We don't need that right now. That's for the position of the armor stand, by the way. So it doesn't take the items, but it helps you. If you have five in a row, you can just pick one and then turn on the clone picker and then touch the other ones and they will all change. Very cool. All right, the other one is actually the position changer. It has its own little menu now from head, left arm, right arm, position, and body. So let's just click on a couple of these things and <laughs> that way we can definitely see some changes, all right? Oh, here it is. Our little guy is right here. We've customized an Armistead editor without using any fancy Minecraft vanilla commands. Super cool, super quick, and we can sneak and right click and still change it. Takes the pants off, something we probably don't want um, All right, so that's the clone editor and the position one. And then the menu has some options here, but what is this? A template saver. And remember how there is a list? We can now actually say, save the armor stand into a template. And that is so cool. Uh, you can leave the body off unless you really want to clone the position it's in exactly. So the orientation, so to say. So looking north, for example. Uh, so I like to leave this one off as a default or unticked. You can include the helmet or not, or the chest or the offhand, um, the torso, the left arm, the right arm. Sometimes you might just want to copy some of these things or specifically not want to copy some of these things but i'll leave everything as default right now because we're just demoing it uh, okay let's click save enter a new name uh, demo thingy boom done 
Now, if we do see my armor stand list, you'll see that I have my little dude and demo thingy. So, how do I use this? Well, you just click on it and it's now in the inventory. And I'll click on the other one and it's also in my inventory. So, let's do that. I got a couple of both. Let's do see my game mode survival so you can actually see how this works. As I change the hotbar uh, position, one or two, you'll see that it's either called Little Dude or Demo Thingy. So now when I place this armor stand, it will actually use the template of this one that we saved, which is so cool. And we can still sneak and right click any of these and say, uh, I want it big and um, no visible arms. And there you go. Arms are gone and it has resized. And of course we can still change whatever we want here. We can uh, customize it any further. <laughs> it doesn't look so great, but that's okay. Now I had one that I made during the earlier testing. And that means that yes, they survive server restarts. Now I have an army of these little dudes, which is so cool. And this is super handy for admins and builders, of course, that have the permission to use and save templates. All right, so see my game mode creative. Um, see my armor stand lists. I only need one and I can just keep pasting them. All right, let's make a custom one. So we have, however we have it created, we say save, but not this one, not this one, not that one, and not this one, or well, boots, for example, and the plate. Okay, save. Another test. There we go. Let's go to a different location. And now you can see that certain things are not included. Chest plate, the plate is showing again. So even though we have a setting here that says don't have a plate, when we saved it and we left it out, it goes to the default, which is including a plate. So if you have one that you want to customize, because you might have like three in a row, but you want to have different chest plates and different boots, then maybe it's nice to save it without those particular items. So you don't have to sneak in, take it out, put something else in. Making editing these things super handy and fast. All right, I think this is a fantastic new feature and you will be able to share these that you've made with other people because you have a file under the plugin directory for CMI under saves called armor stands yml where you can just get one of these and put it in a file and share it with another person so this is super cool um the permissions right now in this version are focused on the admin so it's not for players but for an admin this is super cool to have a standard set of templates think about sitting down lying flying fighting maybe with or without armors on it or um, for example another fighting one where they hold a sword so all you have to do is quickly decorate an area with a bunch of these guys and you only have to make it once and you can keep using these templates it's it's so cool very handy very very handy i love this little upgrade and I'm glad that this feature is now in CMI. A while ago on GitHub, I made a new discussion with a list of suggestions on how to improve the armor stand feature. And the editor has been revamped, optimized a little bit, tweaked around, and this cool ability has been added where we can load and save templates. Something worthy to upgrade for, in my opinion, especially because I have a lot of events that I work on and armor stands can help make things look really, really cool. All right, so if you have any cool templates, let us know. Maybe we'll try them out on our test server and make a video about it. But for now, I thought I'd show you this. 
If you like this or if you like to see my plugin, don't forget to give it a like on this video and by all means, let us know what you think about this cool feature by leaving a comment below the video as well. Thank you very much and see you guys on the Discord server or on my personal Minecraft server, onemoreblock.com. All right, that's it for today. And for more updates and videos about CMI, I have a playlist and I will make sure this video is part of that playlist so people can learn more about this armor stand feature. All right, geeking out time. Let's go to the editor and type in check command uh armor stand those are the comments <laughs> see my check perm armor stand those are the permissions so this is the new one armor stand admin that's the one that is required in order for you to do the save and list i think uh, hopefully in the future we might have some more player ones so you can sell uh, certain poses of armor stands to players for example but this is what's possible with the build that i have access to right now and these are the permissions to help you deal with the armor stand stuff for more specific help check out the crips.net website or join the discord the discord Link is also on crips.net. You spell that z-r-i-p-s.net, by the way. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and making it all the way to the end of this video. Check out the other CMI videos. And if you have any suggestions for other videos, please let me know as well. Hopefully in 2022, I have more time to make more videos. And hopefully they'll be shorter than this one. All right, that's all. Bye.